Well, I think you should know I'm Judy Daniels, and check this out. It's the brand new Tiger Woods. Please welcome to the number one tee from Corpus Christi, Texas, a man with a perfect school attendance record until today, <laughs> Mr. Taylor Crozier. He's an 11 year old who actually made an 81 yard ace off of the tee at Tiger Woods new golf course. It was great chase week in Detroit. First, Ashley Dorsey, who was pulled over by the Farmington Hills Police. Ashley decided she didn't want to go to jail that day, so she bolts while the cop goes back to his car to check his, her license. In pursuit, they catch up with Dashley at 8 Mile in Newburgh, where she piled the car into a tree, jumps out, leaving her three kids behind, hauls another driver out of their car and hits the pedal again in the stolen car, crashes it a mile later, and put up a fight when the cops finally got to her, but by then the show was over. Dashley's in court today for, let's see, among other things, fleeing and stealing a car and, of course, child abuse. And here is the dashboard video of the other exciting car chase in the city this week. It started out in Warren when they responded to a home invasion. They chased a red Jeep all the way down to Quinder. It veered onto 696 where it was uh, off to the races there. Some of it up to 100 miles an hour, like a Ken Block Jim Gymkhana video until they piled it into a Coke truck, attempting to beat the cops by running an obstacle course on foot in a Redford neighborhood, vaulting fences, but the police finally caught up, as they always do if you watch cops, with a guy cowering under a trampoline. So I guess it's not such a big sales feat to sell snow to Eskimos because they've done it. The annual Iditarod race was postponing because they didn't have any snow for the dogs to race on. Well, it turned out they had to borrow or buy some from Fairbanks, which put it on an Alaskan Express train. So a train piled with snow headed for Anchorage and they should have it on the ground for the dogs by Saturday. Chloe Powell in California was sugar and spice and everything nice until all of a sudden she wasn't. Her mother, Caitlin, explains that she suddenly had become a hideous biohazard around the house. Green snot and boogers all over the place. They thought that she had a sinus infection. Let her tell the rest. Her nose started just out of this one side green, green, green constantly and it stunk. My brother was like, your nose, it's disgusting. Blow your nose, blow your nose. And so she blows it and out comes the safety pin. And Donald Trump promised that he'd be a unifier this week, and he's proven it over and over again. He's either got us for him or against him, but check out this guy's farm. Jerry Slankard, who never thought of the concept of expressing his thoughts in manure before Donald Trump. Jerry spent hours in his field with a manure spreader writing no Trump in duty that the Donald will see from his jet if he ever flies over rural Ohio. And that's five things you should know.